Breaking news. Breaking news. Um, I'm having a baby. Wait, what? I'm having a baby, yeah. Where's the round of applause, man? But you've already got two. Yeah. Three? Two got, or three? I've got four, but this is going to be number five. Are you joking? Round of applause. Seriously. You're not going to give him a round of applause, Tigo? Hold on. On Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I take, I take, remember, remember on Grand Theft. Yeah. <laughs> you remember on Grand Theft <laughs> where you could wait on the, the high, on, on the side street yeah. and horn and the girl comes in the car and the car starts moving? Yeah. That's my character there, man. He's having a baby, man. Welcome to No Rules, Craig Mitch, man. Boom! Craig Mitch. Hey, thanks house, for having bro. me, man. In the house. Craig thanks Mitch. for having me, bro. I want to tell you the truth. I asked him yesterday. Right. I said, Mitch, I need you today. Yeah. I mean, he we said, spoke yes, about it on Monday. Yeah, we spoke about it. Yeah. Because I was just thinking, nah, Mitch won't come on here. It's, it's Why too, not? We talk about Critical's head here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Stop talking about Critical's head. <laughs> <Is it? laughs> he's Critical's head. Your friend? Yeah. And he's, what, and what, what, what happened? What do you mean? What do you mean, what I mean? What happened to him? Nothing. <laughs> God just made him like that. Park. What happened? Nothing. Oh, he came out like that? I imagine so. <laughs> Wow, boy, he must have gone through the back doors. <laughs> You're taking the mix. Shout out, Craig. That's my guy. Craig, 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 Craig is an original no rules guy, though. Of course, Craig. Yeah. Of course. Uh, original. Craig, Craig had rules. What do you mean? Broke rules. Yeah. yeah. And then redefined <laughs> rules. <laughs> <laughs> you could put it like that. You could put it like that. Mitch, you're one of the legends in the game, and that's why I got you a present. What'd you get me? I love presents. This you one, you, have, you, know, bro, you, you shouldn't have. You, you know, sometimes you can get uh, presents from the, the showroom, like it's brand new. Yeah. yeah. But you can get second hand. Yeah. You can get third hand. Okay. What is 16th hand? Oh, 16th hand. <laughs> oh my. Well, I, I, sorry, audio listeners, I don't know. It's a Nintendo 64 game. Cartridge. It's a cartridge. <laughs> made, made that, for you that don't, for any of you that don't know what a cartridge is, this is, remember. <laughs> that's it. Now we're talking. No, was it, was it that. Yeah, you should not no, that's, that. that's mad. But that's what you used to have to do. You used to have to go, <laughs> pop it in. But yeah, essentially, na, n, n, how do you pronounce that? Nagano, Naga, Nagano Winter Olympics 98. 98. Wow. Nagano. Okay. So I'm going to tell you a story. I bought a Nintendo 64 of 20 games. Yeah. I played every game. That's the worst game. <laughs> that game. Computer game. That game, uh, Maurice Green, uh, is yeah. white. <laughs> Just let you know. It's the Winter Olympics. Maurice Green's on there. I don't know why. He shouldn't be he on shouldn't the be Winter on Olympics. So N64, I know you guys don't load, but <laughs> <laughs> that it needs to offload ASAP. Hey, can I say as well, yeah, obviously N64 is pretty much extinct, but yeah. on the back, he bought it from Blockbusters. <laughs> Extinct as well. So there's two things that are not coming back. And you got it for 9.99. Well, no, I didn't but buy it from Blockbusters. The guy that I bought it off bought it from Blockbusters. Oh, you got it from Computer Exchange. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're one so of them guys. I'm one of those guys. CEX. CEX. You know what? I'll give to you. Go on. You know music. I, I like Because even when I DJ, when I'm DJing, and I, play, I might play like a mid school banger that nobody knows, but Mitch will come over to me and be like, oi. This one was a, and it will, it will come with a story. You know your music, yeah. right? I always grab specs when he's DJing. I'll yeah. come up to him at least once yeah. or twice. When, you're, when, you, when you've had the right amount of drinks, you love talking about music in clubs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I, I don't drink. Can I'm I ask you, wait, can I ask you why mm, you don't drink? I'm really intrigued <laughs> at all, because you don't drink at all. No, that's not true. That's what? not true. You've no, he drink? does drink. For someone like him, right, if he goes out, three times a week. Yeah. And some weeks it's six times a week. Yeah. And he doesn't drink any of those times. He can say to someone, I don't drink, but he'll come to me and be like, oh, yesterday or last time, last week, whatever, I got drunk and I got angry and I got into an argument. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's why I don't drink. So I'm like, okay, I don't think that's the drink. They say, well, are you drinking Stella's? He's like, nah. So what do you drink? Vodka. Red Bull. Red Bull. I'm like, bro, that ain't the, that ain't the vodka. That's the Red Bull. How many did you have? Six. Yeah, bro, you can't Bull. drink that much Red Bull. It's the Red Bull, bro. Red Bull makes you so you do, wait, hold on. So you drink? Yeah. No, I, no, I don't drink. I drink occasionally. Yeah. No, but I so you, you don't, don't even not, yeah. alcohol. You're not teetotal. No, you're I definitely not teetotal. Because you, okay, you, what did, what did you do the other day? When? Where was we? No, I wasn't there. Whoa, whoa. Let's come on. Let's, I want to hear this. Wednesday night. What were you doing? What would you Tuesday do Wednesday night? night Tuesday night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Ferdy, so you, know you, you know what? 2020, I came into, I came into 2020. I said, I looked at 2020 in the face. I said, 2020, listen, yeah. This year, I want to try things that I haven't done before because I want to experience things so that I can tell my children that they shouldn't do it because I've experienced it. Yeah. So for example, getting high. I've yeah. never been high before. Ever. Ever. 
never been high. And that's really no, never been high, not fake never been high, like you fake never drink. No, I've never t- smoked or ate anything that's taken me high. Snuzz? Never, none of that. Shisha? Never, not even shisha. Never, you nothing. Have, nothing. Hold on, you had a residency at the old school shisha yeah. spot and you never did shisha no, once? No, So what happened on Tuesday? So Tuesday, you know, after chatting to 2020, 2020 said, listen, specs go for it. There's no rules. Try things that you don't do, All right? So smoking weed was something that came to my mind. So I went and done my research on weed first. Then one of my friends, Killer Cage, bigger up, she was like, you know, I've got uh, 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 edibles. Okay. So what's that? She says, it's a chocolate. You eat it and it's high. I said, oh, that's, that's nothing. It goes up my nose. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here eating this chocolate. Yeah. But the thing is, because I'm inexperienced, yeah. I'm eating the chocolate, waiting for something to happen. And nothing was happening because it, it hits you after like an It'll hour and a half. It creep up on you. It creeps up. So I'm munching this chocolate away. How many do you have? Probably about four. How, how big were the pieces? About the size of, you know, have you seen the new whispers? <laughs> new the, whispers? The, the new whispers. What do you mean? In the, a bag. In the bag. Right. You see the, new, the, little, the, the, little, the miniature the little, ones. The miniature, yeah. That's yeah. still big pieces though. Yeah. So the same size. But my, and it tastes like Whisper. I love Whisper. Whisper's are my favourite chocolate. <laughs> hey, Whisper's, whisper's <laughs> underage. Whisper's hard, yeah. So I'm ailing, yeah, these, these, these cakes. And then... I don't... <laughs> don't look Craig, like Craig, do you want to see a video? <sighs> go on. That he sent to, right, the, he sent to the group. Far in the booth or something, but ASMR. I know you're gonna dig this. I know you're gonna dig this, sucker. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so Charlie's not impression. <laughs> I rate that. So, no, did he do that? Yeah. You know, you you know he does. He, he says he doesn't drink, yeah. but you know he doesn't eat. We've been places. You know he doesn't he eat, eat. Nothing. He ate a salad. He was so high. Well, off the back of that, yeah, his munchies brought into a salad. Like a, a box of salad. I'm talking about red cabbage. I'm talking about things he would never eat. There was eat. wires in this salad. <laughs> he would never eat that stuff. What is what? VGA cable, phono cables in this salad. It was the best salad I've ever had in my life. <laughs> what, so, <laughs> what was the experience like? What, how did you find it? It was mad because it was like, I don't know. like Your eyes look low. I remember, I just remember sitting there and my, my friend Pete was talking to me because he was like, let's watch the Animal Channel. <laughs> so he's an experienced weed smoker. Anyone that says to you, let's smoke weed and watch Animal Channel, yeah. they want to go and have sex with this animal. What? <laughs> so why are we watching <laughs> Animal Channel while we're high? I don't want to see how fast a flipping crow can catch his breath. Whatever, I don't want to watch none of that. Yeah. So we're watching it anyway, we're sitting there and he's talking to me. Like I remember feeling like I was the animal. I remember feel like I was there. What was the animal? What's the, you know the animals that are on the, they, they come down the mountains, but they can slip and fall? A goat? Mountain goat? Antelope? Or? Is it antelope? I think it's an antelope. I don't know, they're in, they're in the but world they, a lot. They, 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 basically, they climb down the mountains, but if they miss you know, the rock, they can slip and fall and they get eaten by the- Mountain lions? Yeah. See, this is what I'm saying. That's what I saw. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I saw. So did you enjoy it? Do you know what I don't like about it? Go on. It's only today I recovered. Right. Wait, when was when did you take it? Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, okay. Like my shoulder shaking, Mitch, took too long. <laughs> Usually when I shoulder shake, imagination, boom, poof, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm done, I'm nice, like, you know. I've got... There are a lot of creatives that say that helps them with their imaginations. No, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, it, it wasn't, I don't know if I was, I was moving too slow, but it wasn't working for me. But I'm glad I experienced it. Yeah. I can hear everything clearly, but everything that I was watching was just, it was just, it was just, everything was just slow. So you never touch it again, or would you? No, nah, I don't need to experience it again. That, then bow cutting, all these things that I haven't done before, I'm gonna do this year. Whoa, whoa, wait, stop. You've never bow cut? Never eat pussy before. Ever? I can make a phone call if you want. Well, this no, that no phone call no, wouldn't I, confirm anything. Yeah, that wouldn't, you wouldn't, it wouldn't. You'd have to phone, a, you may have to make a lot of phone calls. Well, let me call Poet. What's po- how no, po- wait, he ain't is Poet with you every time? No, but I want to ask him. He's <laughs> in a bedroom every <laughs> time. Why is there no rules to ask? Huh? <laughs> let, 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 let's, let's call Poet. It wouldn't prove anything. Yeah, but there's no rules to I ask. You can do whatever you want, but I, I, that ain't going to prove to me. You can ask Poet, it ain't going to prove to me that you don't eat pussy. 2020 Bowcat Specs is coming. I might. 
Let's see how it goes, man. But I'm gonna try it. This is 2020. Why? Why, why have you mm. never tried it? That's that's out of curiosity. Why is it the ends thing? You know, like growing up in the ends, man. Go, yo, no. If you if you do that, you're a boat. Like, why have you never tried? You're giving it? him too much credit, man. He just doesn't eat stuff. Pop him got information sometimes. <laughs> exactly. What? Yeah, but listen, Sharky was on this show the other day talking about he had blood coming out of his bum. Ladies have blood coming out of there on their period, what, you know, periodic what, table days. What do you mean he had blood coming out of his bum? Uh, the episodes will have dropped by now. Yeah, Sharky, Sharky ate a worm and then uh, bled out his bum. Have you risked it for a cracker? About what? <laughs> said that again. What? <laughs> have you risked it for a cracker? You heard I, what no, he I, says. I didn't. Have you risked? Have I risked it for a cracker? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You have to elaborate on that term. That could mean anything. Why does all the guests ask me to elaborate? Because on, in their guess, heads, in their heads, they think they know him. Go am on. I supposed to just? Am I no, supposed no. to go yes and agree to something? No, 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 no. no. But explain. what do you think it means? Yeah. All right. So if I think of risk it for a biscuit, yeah, a cracker is a dry version of a biscuit. Kinda, biscuits, biscuits kinda, are kinda, yeah, kinda yeah, dry. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, strong yeah, analysis yeah, yeah, for a biscuit. Good, yeah. So this risk it for a cracker. Go down the same route. What do crackers do? They're dry. They they crack. I wouldn't risk it for a cracker. Interesting. Have you? I haven't risked it for a cracker. Uh, that's not that. true. Right, but he's done a good job of breaking it down yeah. from a metaphorical perspective. Yeah. But help him out. So that was Mitch's um, metaphorical, you know. Breakdown. Uh, breakdown on yeah. what? Attempt. Yeah. Attempt. But we all know that uh, risking it for a cracker means, have you decided to shoulder shake when your parents are at home or there's people in the house and you're risking it? So that means that you're bashing when you're not supposed to be bashing because there's people, there's civilians in the house. Civilians? Yeah, yeah. I've... And it has to be a close call where you nearly got caught and your heart was beating fast. <laughs> oh, have I had a close call? Oh yeah, I've had a close call. All right, so now... But I, it, when, I, when, I lived, when, I lived, when I lived at home, when I lived at home, when I lived at home, yeah. I had a lock on my bedroom door. So it was always... How does he... How do you get to have a lock on your bedroom door and I didn't? How old was you when you had a lock on your bedroom door? I think it got installed when I was like 10. What? In my house, all doors had to be wide open so everyone could see what information everyone's doing. <laughs> how are you... You're, you're allowed hidden information at 10 years old? Because my mum is white British. She didn't grow up with these traditional values where it's like, you can't have... Them. My mum was just cool. She's very liberal, very laid back. Yeah, man, put a lock on the door. Is it? Yeah. So you could do anything in that room? Within reason. <laughs> Within reason, yeah. So let me no, but, but, but I had a close call one time because I actually <laughs> forgot to lock the door. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't have one of them. No, no, listen. <laughs> I didn't have one of them locks that- Careless like, cracker. <laughs> I didn't have one of them locks that, you know when the door shuts, it just locks. Like what, yeah, what are they called? Yeah. The ones that go and then it just locks. Or lock or whatever, yeah. I had one of them was ones that you push, you know, yeah, like in yeah, toilets. Yeah. So you have to screw it oh, onto yeah. the door. And you push it. it into a hole. Yeah, yeah. You have but, that in your room. But I made the hole in yeah. the thing. So it like pushes it into a hole. So even when it goes in, it is locked. And if you push it, it's locked. But if you just went like, bang, it's basically <laughs> taking through. the door frame yeah, off. Yeah. You're in. So one time, because cause it's one of those small locks. If I'm in bed, sometimes I can't, where, where my bedroom door is, I have to squint, see if it's actually locked. <laughs> so really, in fact, more times I've taken a lot more risk than I actually initially knew. Because I'm looking a lot thinking, is it open? Can't be bothered to get up. I'm in bed you know, engaging in the act. So yeah, it's locked. So wait, so, what, the just, P, so the piece, is this a PC you're wanking to or what are you wanking to, magazine what? Uh, no, mobile phones, man. What? Come on, bro. We're not, what were you talking about? Oh, so Mo this was yesterday. Laptop. <laughs> <laughs> so what were you talking about? No, back, in, back, back in the day when I was a kid, I'm confused. Where's the time? Where's the time well, like? Specs' his story involves him watching wrestling while his mum's asleep on the floor in How front old was you though? How old was you? <laughs> year nine, year eight, year nine. So that's like, what, 15, 14, 15? Yeah. When Shoulder Shaker 15. was in fashion, yeah, when yeah, it was yeah. like, when it was the best feeling ever. Now it's not the best feeling ever because you know your hand is moving yourself. Yeah. But when you're doing it as a teenager, you're in that moment. You're oh, with yeah, yeah. Sable, uh, Trisha, and if I take all the scenes, Trisha. Huh? Trisha. Yeah, yeah, not Trisha. Um, Ricky Lake. Uh, no, no, Ricky, uh, Cilla Black. Um, <laughs> and the, the, the situation from the bill. Don't know her name. Uh, uh, Polly. 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 <laughs> wow. Yeah. Situation from the bill. Yeah. Do you know what's actually mad? When you yeah. actually think about it in deep, it like, there were no smartphones back then when we yeah. were kids. So you actually had to find a DVD, a poster, a magazine. We you talking, actually had to look for those mm, physical things. We were talking earlier about Zoo and Nuts magazines. Yeah. I never had that. No, but I never did the that. The guys in the office were like, yeah, 
because you're nuts all day. But I think that's, a, that's a laddie type of thing. Yeah. Like you're from Brixton. You're yeah. not a lad. Like I'm not a lad. Never, like if you went Essex, I'm sure. Oh, they're banging it. Yeah. I'm sure Zoo, Babe Station, all of that was the vibe. But for me, Zoo and all that, I never picked up a Zoo. All, all that Babe Station stuff, that still exists. I, I, yeah, I did. I did. I did, I did Babe Station yeah. about what, two months ago. I did the the, the Asian sisters, the twins. <laughs> what do you mean you did? If you, if you, if you two are watching, I'll uh, show the shape to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> check them out. Yeah, I think it's nine oh one. I was thinking over Christmas. I was thinking, do you know what? You know what our problem is on a lot of our stuff. We don't really, <laughs> we don't really appeal to women on a lot of the stuff we do. And I was like, how do, you, how do you do? How do you make something? And then we have a segment like this where we're talking about nuts and zoo and how you shoulder shake to the two Asian twins on Babe Station. I oh think I don't think girls are going to want to watch or listen to this. But listen, I didn't know it's it's about. Um, Speaking up on your experiences that you wanted to hide. <laughs> yeah. This is this is what I like about this show. Yeah. Because if I, if I don't talk about this show, no one's gonna talk about it. People no. are just gonna be sort of shaken and keeping it a secret. So how did you? <laughs> yeah, but how what, did you what, what if you're what if you're not shoulder shaking? It's impossible. What if you're doing the one where you're just like rubbing on the mattress? You know, where you're on your stomach and you're just. Am I the only one that does that? That yeah? sounds like or some pillows? serial no, killer no, stuff, man. So, Okay, Essence. so you're, you're you're taking it seriously. Then. Yeah. I was more of a pillow man than a hand man. So you, you you so you break the pillows back, basically. I'd put it in the pillow. But how? But it still feels like it's softer. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. The hand thing was too messy for me, man. Wow. Yeah, I'm not one of them guys. Lotion, tissue. Nah, so, that's so, all. So, so one second. It's a bitch. bit mad. One second, bitch. You made a hole in the door because the lock wasn't. You know, put on properly, yeah. and you made a hole in the pillow. No, no. This, this, is there any other holes in the room that I need to know about? Because this is, this is what I'm saying about locks. When you lock, when you lock, when you give a ten year old, yeah, lock, you see holes all around the house. You see a hole in the corner. <laughs> all right. Well, we've introduced Craig Mitch. What a legendary guest. Legend. Come I on. don't think people realize the influence Craig Mitch has on the whole culture of having no rules because he basically was like out there. The innovator. Forcing it into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. No rules as an ethic, as a everything. I'm going to go as far as to say there's no rules or no rules was the phrase of last decade. Anyway, let's get into some uh, serious Sundays. Specs put a tweet out earlier on today. Boom. He said, about to film No Rule Show with Craig Mitch. Legend. Send me questions for Serious Sundays. I already know he is a certified shoulder shaker like us. He will have good tips. I gave tips. You gave tips. I gave tips. Of course you did. You might need new pillows, but I gave tips. We got a reply from Brian Tumford. Good name. Tom Ford. Would Craig rather get Batista bombed in his prime in a TLC match or Liverpool not win the league or CL this year? That doesn't really make sense. I guess he means... <laughs> I'm baffed by yeah. that. Wait, what? Would you rather get a Batista bomb in a TLC match? I'm guessing through a table, or Liverpool win the league and Champions League? It's football. We don't really do football on this show. We'll do one at least. Um, would I survive a Batista bomb? I think you'd be all right. I'll go. I'll go with the Batista bomb. Yeah, I think. Too. I think that there's there's only one real reason. I wouldn't want Liverpool to win the league. And that's purely because them and Spurs are the only two teams out of the yeah, top six the teams ones, that yeah. haven't won the Premier League in a Premier League era. If Liverpool win it, even Leicester's in there now. So that'd be, Spurs would be the only team in the top seven that haven't won it. Mm. So that's the only reason I don't want them to yeah, win it. Yeah, it's too late though, man. I know. So it that's up. it. It's just Spurs. So, so, you, so you risk being par paralysed. You're right. I, Liverpool win the league. Yeah, because I'm not trying to be paralyzed. Batista doesn't hold you. And I don't do enough training and all that. And Batista was a big guy. Mm. Next comment comes from Mo. I get Mo money. Boom. What's Craig's favorite category to shoulder shake to? Ooh. Ooh, it changes, man. Like you go through, you go through. Yeah. I'd say POV. <laughs> I do like a POV. BDSM. What's that? When you when you're tied like to the walls and stuff. Glory hole. You make a hole because you like you like holes. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say amateur. <laughs> you like holes. Huh? Amateur. You know what? I always type in amateur. You know why? Because it feels real. You know the real. You see when you watch Mandingo and all those porn stars, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the acting. I don't want professional. I want amateur. Do you know how much lighting they have? 
I don't want my Makeup. lighting. I don't want to know that there's 10 lights, five cameras. It can be in HD. It zooms in, zooms out. A person's got makeup on. Nah, man. I want to know that, you know, you flicked it on. Have you seen Blacked? You've just flicked on Blacked the phone. Blacked is almost Who? virtual when I'm watching it. Wait, what? Blacked. Blacked. Yeah. It's just black guys banging white girls. Oh, my God. That's what it's, that's what, that's what, that's, it's, on, it's, it's there. I, I, I want it shut down with Kevin Hart. <laughs> Why Kevin? Because I've seen down. Kevin Hart's sex video as well. Oh, it's true. Yeah. Not, he, he, he needed lighting. <laughs> he needed lighting. Because <laughs> he was lucky he was having sex in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> All the black guys there are wearing caterpillars. What do you what? mean? What do you mean? Caterpillar black men. Why are you wearing caterpillars? <laughs> what do you mean? They're wearing caterpillar boots. They're oh, naked. caterpillars. Yeah. Oh, my Caterpillar God. boots. What's the fake on? Tims. Yeah. Yeah, that? they, that's dangerous, bro, as well, because they got steel toe caps. So imagine you like put your foot up and then kick the girl. That's that's a lawsuit right there, bro. I'm not gonna get electrocuted though. This is from Gabrielle Martinelli is the new R9, aka Swag Lord One. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Where is the most no rules country you have visited? For me, it's Nigerian flag. Got people throwing shit at cars on the road, naked in a gutter, plus no street lights at night. So you're fuck driving. Fuck my life. My people need to fix up. I hope he's not. Is he Nigerian? He says my people. So oh, he said my people. I'm okay, hoping, yeah. just double check. I, I, I'll be with you because that would be wild my, if he wasn't. My mum and my sister went to Nigeria. Yeah, about seven years ago, and they said the same thing. People were trying to get in their suitcase when they landed. For me, I got two types of no rules. Right, so if we're talking literally no rules for a country, then it's Cuba. Oh, when yeah, I went yeah, Cuba, yeah. there was no internet. The only way you could get internet in Cuba, this is not a joke. The only way you could get internet in Cuba, there's no private. So in houses, there's no internet. You're not allowed it. You have to go to a park, get a code, pay for a code, and then you get 60 minutes of internet for the day. Once that code dones, that's it. No more internet. And it's crazy because you go in that park and it's surreal because outside the park and in the city, no one has a phone really. Unless mm. they're obviously taking like old school Nokia's taking a call. Yeah. You go in the park and everyone's on FaceTime like this, mm. in their phones. You walk, it's surreal. But if we're talking no rules, just then it's Iron Appa. bro. There are no rules in Iron Apple. Yeah, 2012. Okay. Fire on the Beach. Shout out Charlie Sloth. He had wow. Fire on the Beach. Remember when he was doing his spin off little mm -hmm. things abroad and everyone, Wiley performed there that, that time. Was big that Gets. Year, yeah. There was bare people Did there you? when I went there. K Coke. I went with K Coke and them lot. Bunch of friends. And um, yeah, it was lit out there, bro. But like, it's an unruly place. Like, I, remember, I remember touching down, mm -hmm. right? And this is that. This is no word of a lie. I touched down and I went to the club, right? And I met a female promoter in the club. She was from Birmingham. And she said she'd been out there for five weeks, right? Promoting, doing all these promotions. Went back with her to her place. First night of meeting her, I think within the first hour, went back. She opens the door, but she can't open the door. So I'm thinking, open the door. Like, what's going on? Like, you... She pushes it and it's because there's just loads of clothes and trash behind the door. Mm. And then she's like, oh, just let me tidy up, wait here. I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm coming. Like, I've come in and then I've hit the light switch. She's like, no, no, don't hit, hit the light switch. If you saw this house, mm. it was disgusting. <laughs> it was a pigsty. Did I leave? No. No. I stayed, <laughs> rolled around, <laughs> shoulder <a> shaked. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's time to go for half of the audience favorite segment and half of the audience's least favorite segment. Remember wrestling. Now look guys, I, I, I'm, you guys are sick of me already saying this, but the, the video that you can watch that we're talking about, Triple H versus British Bulldog. Well, his name was just The Bulldog at the time. Triple H versus The Bulldog on SmackDown, <laughs> September 30th, 1999. It's in the description on YouTube. It's in the description on the podcast app. So yeah, just go and watch it and just... You'll enjoy it more if you watch it, I reckon. Craig's got his belt ready. I stole it off Specs. Well, he didn't steal it. He won it. Yeah, I stole it off someone's nephew. <laughs> and then I stole it off you. His name's Graham, you said, isn't it? No. He's called Graham in 2019. Uh, you be three years old and your name's Graham. I don't know. Your parents must be about 80. So hear what I'm saying. Specs. Yeah. What do you remember about Triple H versus the Bulldog? It starts off with The Rock. That's all I, all I know. I'm watching Triple H versus British Bulldog. That's what I tune in to watch. It starts off with The Rock in all black, standing on top of the ropes. Did you clock that? Yeah, but what was he wearing on his feet? 
shiny shoes that Bolt's dad wasn't wearing. <laughs> they wouldn't. Why? So, he was wearing the Adora trainers instead for comfortability. But I remember The Rock standing. Um, finally, The Rock has come back. back. What was the place again? To Richmond. How do you remember? <laughs> oh my How do you remember this? God. <laughs> my brain cells are absolutely sick. You know Richmond. Where, do you know where Richmond is? South Richmond London. is um, yeah. near Twickenham. It's West. near Twickenham. It's near, near, near Twickenham's rugby, right? Yeah. Is it rugby or it's cricket? Yeah, 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 yeah. Rugby, yeah. rugby, rugby. So I said to myself, wow, these guys were local. Well, like, it's Richmond, Virginia. No, no. It, but in my mind, it's. Oh, okay, fair yeah, enough. So yeah. I've, changed, yeah. I've changed location. But is it Richmond in Virginia? Yeah. yeah. Is that where Chris Brown's from? No, no idea. but push the from around there. Okay. Pharrell, Timberland, all those guys. Jeez. So The Rock does his thing on the mic, which is the reason why he was your favorite wrestler. How do you know he's my favorite wrestler? Did I tell you? I, I think he was everyone's favorite he wrestler was my for favorite some wrestler. reason. He was. Dan loved him, yeah. Everyone loved him. He was my favorite. Yeah. Stone Cold was a close second, but he was my favorite. For that generation, the generation before it was, unfortunately I was a Shawn Michaels man. I wasn't a hit. I wasn't a. I wasn't a Brett man. I was a Shawn Michaels. I don't know. Only, only, and it was only because of one thing, and it was the sweet chin music. That was the only reason. Other than that, uh, everything about Bret Hart was cooler. But I loved the sweet chin music because it wasn't really a move. You're just mm. kicking a man in the yeah. face. They like, all do it now. Everyone does sweet chin music. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's, like, it's like yeah, but they do the thing where they go in the corner and then do the whole. They did. They do the whole theatrics with it. No, they just kick someone in the face. But you know why? You know why? Because Shawn Michaels did it so well. And he would slap his thigh, so it would make that noise like and slap. He'd stamp on the on the yeah. thing. He'd stamp. But the, but what the, but that hit the point where he would make the collision. He would slap his thigh, and and so would the um the guy who's hit kicking. So it was like, and he'd look, whoa, what is that? Wrestlers now because they want to be safe. It's the best thing to do is that just that sweet chin music because all, all you're doing is hurting your thigh. So I remember the rock being on the ropes talking, <laughs> and then British Bulldog comes. And now bear in mind, British Bulldog, and Triple H. This match is a derby. Why? Hunter right, right. Holmesley. Yeah. Hunter Holmes Holmesley was meant to be an English it's character. A derby. <laughs> a bulldog. It's a derby. It's a derby. It is a derby. You're right. So, man, I think do, you do you know what they just needed? Yeah. The last thing, triple yeah. threat, derby. Yeah. William Regal. William Regal. That is it. <laughs> it would have been it. It would have been the most British triple threat match of all time. So, British bulldog comes out. Um, for some reason, them light blue jeans were in fashion back in the day. Light blue jeans back in the day were in fashion. They were. So why is Savage Dan still wearing them now? <laughs> and his one have got rips, wires. <laughs> With the Yeezys. <laughs> With the Yeezys. He thinks the Yeezys cancel it. It doesn't cancel it. Do you know what I love Dan? Because see the Yeezys? Yeah. He'll wear them anywhere. A everywhere. Gym, Ev studio, <laughs> <laughs> football. He'll wear them anywhere. They're just multi-purpose Yeezys, bro. I rate it. I love you know, it. Do you know the best thing about his Yeezys? What? They're, they're not 100% definitely real. Cause he wanted them so bad, he kept sending me links like, "Are these real? Are these real?" Oh. I'm like, I was like, "Bro, I can't, like, I, I can guess." There's loads of legit companies on Instagram that show sell like real ones. Why would he go? He came, to, he came to the office one day wearing them, and I was like, "Oh, you got them?" And I was like, "Are they thirty? And he went, "Oh, they better be." <laughs> He's ris that's risking it, man. You're risking it. Risk risking it for a cracker. Trust me. <laughs> so Bulldog Bulldog down. comes out. Yeah. Um, him and The Rock are facing each other. They look at each other in the ring and then he goes to hit The Rock and Rock blocks it. Yeah. So Rock gives him the, uh, 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 you know, that, that spits of the hand, hits him. Remember, The Rock is meant to be special guest referee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they didn't explain that until like no, way they didn't. We just saw yeah, The Rock. You know they didn't explain <laughs> it. Yeah. They didn't explain it. We saw that. The Rock do the intro yeah. and beat this guy. And we're like, what, the, was, what is The Rock doing? He's in the way of this derby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> he Tottenham didn't Arsenal, it. you can't go and get LA Galaxy to come halfway in. And like, Wait, hold on. Wait, guys, go back to America. This is, not, this is a derby. I agree. This is local neighbors. So, um, so I remember he uh, throws a uh, British Bulldog over the ropes and then he's in the he's in the ring doing his thing and then Triple H comes out. Mm. So Triple H comes out whilst British Bulldog's recovering. Yeah. So British uh, Triple H comes out with his belt. He's the champion. Was it Intercontinental? World, world. No, it was the world, world championship. World, yeah, world championship. So he's come and Triple H has realised, wait, hold on. Got British ball. Bulldog's on the floor while I'm meant to be walking out doing my thing. While he's got a water bottle in his hand. While he's got a water bottle in his hand. So he's for, 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 forget this, I'm going for an early attack, innit? Yeah. Dash his water the belt, he's gone. He starts, him and Bulldog are fighting. So the derby's on. Amazing. Now, I remember 
Um, something happened. Wait, I'm just trying to remember back. Something happened. Well, Triple H throws his belt into the ring while he's beating up Bulldog, and yeah. then The Rock just kicks the belt out the ring the other yeah. side. In 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 shiny, yeah. shiny, shiny shoes. Yeah. Church shoes. Sh- pop up church, pop up church shoes. shoes. So I remember someone did a move. And The Rock was meant to do the one, two, three pin. Yeah. It was Triple H. But yeah, so Triple H, it wasn't a pedigree though. No, it wasn't a pedigree yet. So he just, he just did a move and, and he was out somehow. Yeah. And The Rock Even was- Even though it wasn't a finisher, he was out. And, and The, the Rock was, was just on the ropes. Like doing this. Chilling. He was chilling. And Triple H got up like, and he was like, oh, sorry. Like, yeah. He's the, the Rock's the best. Yeah. Bulldog low blows Triple, triple H. H. Yeah, he yeah. Blows triple H, yeah. <laughs> the Rock sees that, by the way. It doesn't disqualify doesn't him. Doesn't disqualify him. Let's I love go. low blow. Like, that's a wrestling phrase, low blow. That yeah. didn't exist before punched wrestling, did it? Dick. He punched yeah. his nuts. Yeah, that's he what he did. Pipe. Yeah. It's a low blow, yeah. But did, uh, when did, so when Bulldog and The Rock started fighting again, because mm. I remember Bulldog and The Rock fighting, and every time Bulldog hit The Rock, the glasses didn't come off. No. Was it Bulldog or was that Triple H? But Rock didn't really get hit though, did he? Kept blocking everything. Yeah, yeah. Every time he, they would go to punch him, okay. he, kept, okay. he kept blocking. He kept blocking. He never got hit. And they're they're in the ring just like scrapping, and then we see just Stone Cold uh, oh, backstage, backstage with yeah. his feet. Up, yeah, it was a mess. Stone Cold was just watching it. Camo shirt. Yeah, in his in his camo shirt and and and, and we, we can't we can't overlook something though. We yeah. can't overlook something. The commentator. Yeah. Not, not even oh. just that. When Triple H did the pedigree, yeah. and he went for the count, and Rock didn't do it, he was started clapping. <laughs> Yeah, I went down. Bro, bro was applauding him for doing that finishing move. Like, yeah, this finishing move's cold. Do you know what? The Rock absolutely defined the meaning of no rules with that whole performance. Yeah. From when he Incredible. went out in the ring yeah. and started being a commentator as well. Incredible. So he was a commentator, the ref, the, ref, the wrestler, the owner of SmackDown. The owner of SmackDown. He did the intro. Because you know, the, 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 so he was the ring announcer. Yeah, 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 it's true. He just done what he wants. Can we also talk about his people's elbow? The slide oh. in the shoes. Did you see that? <laughs> Perfect. How did he do? That's one take. It's live. I feel like it is the, live. I feel like that's the first time he ever did it as well. And that's why he was wearing shiny, 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 shiny shoes. But that, it was still so hard to execute. Like he slid the right amount. Well, let's, well, and then well, dropped it with so much. Just, do you know what? Mm. The most electrifying man is the perfect term to describe well, the rock. Well, it's just electricity. Before we get to that people's elbow, right? I want to I want to talk about when he's the commentating. Yeah. He tells Michael Cole, shut your mouth. mouth. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Because no matter how long Michael Cole's been there, I will never rate Michael Cole. Never. What? He had frosted tips. No, no I don't rate him. I don't I'll rate, rate him. Michael Cole. No. Michael Cole used to be in the Match, of, Ross. The, match of the Day studio <laughs> talking about wrestling on Sky One. And I was like, I like this short man. I like him. He, he, was a, he, he was the analyst. You know what he, I liked his tone. I did like his voice. He's it wasn't Jim voice. Ross and, 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 and the King. It weren't mm. the same as that, yeah. that combination there. But I feel like if Jim Ross was going to step down and you needed someone to come in, I think he did the best job he possibly I just could. Never, never bought him. Never, even though he was there years, he was there before yeah, I was He was a reporter watching. backstage. Yeah. And The Rock used to mug him off back then mm. and just like completely mug him off. I'll tell you something interesting, a piece of trivia. You see Ke- uh, Jerry the King Lawler's shirt when he was sitting on the... Commentary I team. think I remember it, yeah. Blue and gold r- Versace shirt. No, oh, he's see. wearing a shirt that time. He wasn't wearing silk. his usual. He used to wear, yeah, he used to wear that underneath, but then yeah. he'd wear, he'd wear these Versace shirts. That shirt, The Rock gave him. Are you joking? When The Rock used to come out to the ring wearing like a Versace shirt. Oh, the best. He would only ever wear it once. That was the rule, wear it once. And then he'd, Jerry the King Lawler was like, can I have it? And The Rock would give him them. So whenever you see Jerry the King Lawler wearing a Versace shirt, it was always like a month or so after The Rock wore it on Raw or SmackDown. Without washing it, nothing. Just wearing it. I'd, I'd imagine he washed it. But because it was always blue or red uh, as the main colour, Jerry the King Lawler always had outfits to match it. Wow. But that's a second-hand shirt. That's dope. That's but definitely a second-hand shirt. Uh, Kevin Hart got some nice Versace shirts, but I love a Versace shirt. Oh, I remember that. No, some of them were terrible. Some of them were terrible. Versace, terrible. Yeah. I can't stand Versace. I was actually going to watch a documentary about Versace. Documentary or... It's on Netflix, it's right? It's not a documentary, oh, yeah, but it's great. You should watch Is it. Is it? Yeah, you great. should watch it. It's good. So the best part of this match was The Rock about to do the one, two, three with the mic. And he does your favourite, Mitch. One, two. It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. The best. If, uh, if after, the rock counts to three. After Should, he said Triple H was getting sassy. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> even though, but even when he said to Jerry as well that he, he what was happening? Michael was snitching yeah, on Jerry the King, yeah. saying, "Ah, oh, he doesn't think you're gonna win." And he goes, "I'll oh, break my foot off in his monkey ass or something." <laughs> yeah. I was just like, and then Jerry went quiet. Then when he went back in the ring, Jerry was like, "Michael, why are you, why are you snitching or something?" The Rock's doing his thing beautifully. He completely switched and jumped sides. I wrestling was incredible. Yeah, it's know? great story. So you always had one commentator on, uh, and he had the opposite basically. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. 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 One, of, I'd say Man. one of the best people's elbows of all time. Well, that For two one? reasons, yeah, three he, reasons. One, he threw the glasses. Instead one, instead he threw the glasses instead of the elbow mm-hmm. pads. Yeah. Two, slide. He's wearing all black, shiny, shiny, shiny shoes. Yeah. Three, slide. that slide, outrageous. Do you think he thought on his? Because when I was watching it, I remember. Was he thinking on his feet? Because he didn't have the armbands on, so the glasses was that improvisation. Do you think? I bet he had it planned. You think he had it planned? I bet he had it planned. He sold it so well. Because when he's, even when he's doing it and he does it, you can kind of, there's this little pause where he's like almost thinking, what am I going to throw? And then he just does it. And I'm just like, that's sick. If, if he did have it planned, that's cold. Because then Cause he's I've delivered it. I've definitely seen him like pretend to take a, like mm. when he hasn't got one, I've seen him yeah. just do a mime or whatever. There's another key thing in that fight though. So obviously The Rock just takes the belt, leaves, no one knows what's going on. He's just oh, yeah. left with the belt. It goes because he hasn't won it. I so love he just matches. Off. I love matches that go backstage. And here we go. Mm. Triple H beats up the ring announcer. Yeah. <laughs> he beats him up, like stamps him out. Goes backstage, beats, beats up, up a guy. Asks a guy, "Where's the rock?" Doesn't slaps him. Who are those guys? <laughs> Who are those guys? <laughs> Who are those guys? <laughs> I don't know. He just beat them all up. Backstage. He beat up three civilians. Yeah, yeah. the civilians. one who gave him the the, the belt yeah. and yeah. the two backstage. Yeah. Like Triple H, man, come on. He was nearly in charge of the company at that time as well. He was, but he was the best because he embodies no rules, really and truly. Because he never followed the rules. He was he brought the sledgehammer the from under the ring. It's the game. It's the game. The game mm. sets the rules. Mm. When Triple H got injured, he would always show his doctors mm. yeah. and his recovery. Everyone else got married and do stuff. You know, <laughs> do you know why I love that though? Mm. Cause you'd see him in the gym, yeah. like yeah. going hard yeah. and how, how serious yeah. he took it. Like that's what I always rated about him. He'd have his headphones in going well, on. He's, he's, he is legit teetotal. And yeah, he goes to the gym like three times a day. Even now, now to 2020. Yeah. I listened to an interview with him on a random like NFL podcast the other day. And it was like, yeah, he's- How's he still how have the How tall is he? I don't know. I want to know his height. Six five. Six five. Six four. I don't know. But he does podcasts. So so yeah, he he did a load of interviews on different podcasts. He did one with a, a baseball player. Like I, I I consume a lot of content, a lot of media. Yeah. But yeah, it was it was an interesting interview. He was talking about how he's yeah, his teetotal, goes to the gym three times a day. Stephanie goes to the gym three times a day. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just working out nonstop. Non, but he still he runs WWF. Him and they're, Stephanie. They're so. all on podcasts. I, was, I heard a podcast yesterday of Mark Henry saying he offered out the Undertaker backstage. Wow! Because apparently Mark Henry had a lot of bad attitude. Yeah. And people kept saying you need to calm down. And one time Undertaker said, "Look, calm down." And he was saying, "Obviously Undertaker's meant to be the legend." Yeah. When I listen to him, he's like, "No, fuck that." He was to fight the Undertaker. Yeah. But uh, at the end of this fight, mm. Triple H is he's got away. He got beat up by The Rock, and then Bulldog tried to fight The Rock. The Rock scrapped with Bulldog till he was off camera. And Did he, he goes to a locker room? By the Pepsi machine. So yeah, Triple H goes to a locker room. Knocks the door. Says China. <laughs> he does say China. Mitch, China. Does he? Did he say that? He's, 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 he, he goes, oh, he's looking for China. Yeah, he goes, China, it's Triple H. <laughs> Which is so dumb. But remember, China's not here with us. So for, for him to be knocking, that is, I think that's, that's cheeky. Bulldog's not here with us either. <laughs> Oh, so this was like a ghost fight. <laughs> no, <'cause> it's just, <laughs> he's, like so, he's like, China, China, China. And I think we all knew he was in well, there. We, we saw the shot of Stone yeah. Cold backstage yeah, watching it on TV with a beer. We knew it was going to come Stone out. Stone Cold opened the door. What happened about Stone Cold? Kick Stone Cold wouldn't say, hi, who's this or nothing. <laughs> he would talk of his fingers. That's, that's all Stone Cold did. Two fingers up. What I loved about Stone Cold, he didn't wrestle. He was he just no a moves. fighter. Yeah. He, was he, was, a he, he was a wrestler when he was- um, Ringmaster. Uh, is it Ringmaster? Yeah, with and the million dollar man. Stunning Steve. Stunning Steve. Who's he had moves. But Wait, when he turned Stunning to Stone Steve? Cold, Stunning Steve. Long that before or after the Ringmaster? Before. Before. Austin, that's what I liked about Austin. I think, you, as you know when you say when The Rock used to hit you, you just sell it. I think Stone Cold, the way he used to hit you was like real lucky. Like it was a scrap. Like, <laughs> Get up, kick you. Like Stone Cold was more of a fighter yeah, than a yeah, wrestler. Yeah. But the thing is when you, because obviously as kids, mm. we always used to play act and pretend to be the wrestlers. Mm. And it was very hard to be the stone cold unless you were doing the stomp. Mm. Cause the stomp, if someone's on the floor, you could do the stomp, yeah. that was sick. Mm. But in terms of like the fighting, cause yeah. the rocks thing was just so easy, easy. to like copy. Yeah. Like he yeah. had that little style of it. But actually when, was... when the rock and stone cold, you took back and forth, it was mad. 
It was actually mad. They would trade it a bit. Out of 10 then, Triple H versus Bulldog. Because remember, after all that, with Stone Cold no and Michael won. Cole and The Rock, <laughs> all these different... No one won, yeah. It no just one was like won. the music started playing. So wait, the winner of that was supposed to face Stone Cold at... Was it No Mercy or No Way Out? I, I, it was No Mercy, yeah. yeah it was No, no Mercy. Mercy. Yeah. So who faced Stone Cold at No, no Mercy? Because no one won. It was Triple H. Because he had the belt still. Because yeah, it, basically it was whoever won was going to be world champion and Stone Cold was definitely number one contender. So it's like... yeah. It's a derby, man. It's the best derby I've seen. <laughs> it's, the, it's the best derby because it wasn't... It, the thing is, the match said Triple H versus British Bulldog. But The Rock did everything. That's why I like it. The Rock did everything. It should have been a handicap match. Mm. That's what you call it, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, or yeah, freeway. Yeah. Yeah. freeway. Or it should have been a triple threat. Or freeway. Triple threat. Yeah, yeah, triple threat. Yeah. So for me, I'm going to give it a nine. Nine out of ten. There's for no a SmackDown match, that's a good, what are you saying? Out of ten. Uh, nine's too strong for me, it's man. There's a lot of fights over the years. A lot of, a lot more fights that will rank higher than that for me, but I'll give you an eight. But now it's time for No Rules News. You know No Rules News. We go around the internet and we find the news stories that really embody the no rule spirit. Okay. And there are some there were some good ones this week, I have to say. What is there any ones in Florida? Yes. <laughs> Let's start in Florida. <laughs> this one's from the Independent. Man wakes up to find burglar sucking his toes. Wait, what? Authorities in Florida are reportedly looking for a man suspected of breaking into another man's home and sucking on his toes as he slept. The victim awoke on Christmas Eve to find the burglar at the foot of his bed in his home in Bradenton City, according to news station WSOC-TV. All right, so look, there's foot fetish, right? Skits has a foot fetish. There's a couple of people on that got foot fetish. It's mad. Mm -hmm. And then there's that. And that is crazy. So you've jumped in someone's house. I'm assuming, was he trying to steal stuff anyway? And just saw the toes? The toes were just peeking out and thought, mm, he wanted a nail. There's the, a toe or two there. The Manatee County Sheriff's Office said the suspect declared he was there. He was there, quote, to suck toes. He was only there for toes. So he's not a burglar then. He's a... He's a toe-waller. Toe-what? <laughs> toe-what? Toe-waller. 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 Burglar, Togala. Togala, Togala. He's took burglar, okay. Togala. Togala, Burglar, Togala. Yeah, Togala. <laughs> well, apparently, yeah, the, the He's guy- He's Togala, I'm dead. The guy whose toes were getting sucked told him, I have no money. And the guy went, I'm not here for money. I'm here to suck toes. Is that what it says? Yeah. Don't they, don't they have guns in America? Not everyone. <laughs> maybe it's just, maybe maybe the burglar decided, you know what? I'm coming to get take a TV, but- Ooh. <laughs> Nails. <laughs> Bring that here, I'm hungry. You never know. <laughs> what would you do if you woke up and someone sucked your, you woke up and someone was sucking your toes? You, you, would, you couldn't suck my toes because there's a couple of toes are tinted. <laughs> so Why does that mean you can't suck there? <laughs> oh, what? So what? You see olives there. You see olives that have been there for years. You're going to be like, let me go over there. Imagine, imagine you see specks toe, onions, olives, broken glass, and oh, a man. splinter. A splinter? What's that to suck? You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> Don't cut your mouth, man. <laughs> <laughs> How can you say a splinter? <laughs> Don't cut your mouth. I am dead. Uh. No arrests have been made, but DNA samples of the suspect's saliva have been obtained from what? the victim's no. toes. So why did he wipe hold his on. toes? Why hold did he wipe on. it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me the guy got away scot-free. The togola got away. He got away. Next story comes from The Sun. Hey, the Sun. A lot of people like to get onto us for the websites we pick stories from, but we don't we have no political allegiance. World War Three coming soon. No one cares. The Sun. Now this is football this... related. Malaga suspend manager Victor Sanchez after video showing him exposing himself is leaked online. Exposed on where? From Did you hear about this? Or, no, I never heard about this. Malaga, you know. Wait, it's he, a big club. Wait, they suspended him mm. because he had a nude leak online. So Malaga boss Victor Sanchez has been suspended after a video of himself. Yeah. It, him sp exposing himself was leaked online. The Spanish club are conducting an investigation into the incident as they decide how to proceed. Sanchez 43 was wearing a Malaga branded t-shirt in the video. Oh, wow. And revealed via Twitter that he was being extorted. He said, I wish to inform that I'm the victim of a crime against my privacy through harassment and extortion. Now. Wow. We don't know the details, but... This has to be the first time this has happened to a manager of a serious football club. 
So he was what yeah. bank, he was wanking with shoulder shaking, for example. For, uh, and and someone perhaps. said, if you don't pay me, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out. Perhaps. And he's wearing a Malaga T-shirt. So basically, what you're telling me, if you're a manager and you want to do these nudes, basically go and buy a plain T-shirt from Primark. Yes. And if it's cushy. If he wasn't wearing the Malaga shirt, you reckon he would be cool right now? They wouldn't suspend him. I reckon he's a victim in this. Surely he's the victim. Yeah. Well, it depends. We don't know the story, but he might not be a victim. But from the from the outset, it yeah. looks like I, I think that's the that's the only thing that Malaga can legally like suspend him for. The fact that going, he's wearing it. Yeah, there's a misrepresentation of our company. Basically, you're doing this in uniform. Exactly. Yeah. I couldn't come back after the suspension. Imagine looking at your players. They're not going to take you seriously after that. It's true. The next story, guess where we're going? Go on. Florida. Click Again. Orlando says, and this this goes back to a story we had on the Rules show a few weeks ago. Florida woman throws bucket of human feces on landlord, deputies say. A woman who threw a bucket of human feces on her landlords claims she meant to soak the victim in water. What is it with Floridians and bucket? They love buckets, man. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> they put Anyone from Florida buckets. has always got stuff in buckets that are not meant to be in buckets. What do you mean human feces? Well, this is one that's slightly different. So you remember the one the other day and it was a bucket Car? of diarrhea yeah. and they put it on the woman. This one says, deputies said they were called to a trailer. It's a trailer park. Yeah. On Reed Ellis Road on Austin around 5.15 p.m. Saturday and found the victim dripping wet with feces. And the suspect, Joanne Masada with dried feces caked on her face. Wait, who chucked the feces on her face? Just to... Uh, the, the woman... The tenant. The tenant threw it on the landlord. And she's the landlord, the woman with the feces on her face? Mm, no, the suspect had dried feces on her face. The victim was dripping wet with feces. So Both, the, both women. So the yes. feces connected with two people? I figured it out. Both in Florida, the husband of the landlord is the guy that sucked the toes. And left. Okay, so he's come back with the so the okay. That's what's happened here. So so now and and then the so how did they get the feces? Whose feces is, is that? It 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 could be the husband's feces. Pa- apparently, the, the 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 suspect said that she told the police that uh, the the landlord ran into the bathroom trailer and smeared feces on her face until she was able to run away to her neighbor's house. She took the poop and rubbed it all over. Yeah, this is mad. I'm going Florida. End of the month. Why? Super Bowl. The next no rules news story comes from complex.com. Woman says her face grows literal pubic hair after skin graft. What? Your face growing a pubic hair. Not, so this is not a beard or a moustache. This it's is a, a woman a- says that her surgery was bungled and poorly thought out and it left her growing pubic hairs on her face. So did they do that thing where they take hairs from another region mm, and put it in their face and then put it on the... F- Listen, I always said, if my mm. hairline goes, I'm going Turkey mm. and I'm doing it. I've, I've got a lot of hair on my so bum. So in Turkey, they take your, your hairs from your bum and your pubes. I've got a lot of hair on my bum. The missus can the testify. Same kind of is it? hair, I don't think. But can't they make it? What, is it just a follicle or does it have to be the same sort of follicle? I think it has to be the same sort of follicle. Then I'm screwed. So you was willing to put any other hair on my body? You was willing to put bum line hair on your head. Is that better than being bald? No way. I'd rather be. I I go bald all the time. Bald is the bald is the is the way forward. No, you don't. Take your hair off. No, right now I'm going. I'm going my hair now. He's got such a good hairline. Why would he go bald? Yeah, he does sometimes. Why would you go bald? Why? I would never put my pubes. First of all, my pubes. See this hair here. This hair here is like these guys. (laughs) These guys. They just they just stand. The guys down there. They keep, they keep going all the, like they 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 they're, 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 they're <laughs> flexible. They ain't got no spine. They ain't got bones. Those guys they crawl up and they they, they turn into those shapes in gymnastics. Tuck. <laughs> Some so you know what I mean. So if there. I put it here now and it goes round, but next you know I'm on yeah, the road. It could be a different look though. Yeah, Muhammad, don't 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 from the, like this side, this corner here, there's still one or two pubes that are just trying to get out from the, from the jungle. <laughs> call it the jungle. Is that what you refer to it as the jungle, the bush? Yeah, it's the jungle. I, is, is it just me or you, you you got the jungle here? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And then you come up this way. Yeah. And then it it you can see there's a you few not- pubes trying to get out of that place. Do you do you trim? Do you know what? Let me tell you a story. I trimmed once. 
once I use not shave off no, trim. So basically, just put, take it down. Put it give me this cream, yeah. <laughs> oh no, V. And I put the cream on, and I went in the shower and I took it all off, and I said, Poof, "Bingo, man! Look, look at the land. The land is you can build a house there. <laughs> couple, like, couple, like, couple, couple extra that. inches, yeah. Couple extra inches on show. Well, when I use the cream, when you take the hair away, and no, there's nothing, n- nothing. There was nothing. Not I, and I did the bum line as well. Yeah. So everything was smooth, and then one week, bow, rash. <laughs> I'm on the train. Itching. You know when you're on the train? <laughs> He's like, you know when you're on the train and the train's packed, so you can't scratch on everyone. No, you can't. So you, you give yourself the people's elbow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. That kind of itch. What do you mean? Yeah, like. <laughs> Finally, the last No Rules News segment of this show. This is again, we're bringing it back to football, but I wanted to bring it back to another place that's important to you outside of Florida. This is from the Mirror. Great White Shark Hunt ends in grizzly finds of three beasts devouring footballer 21. What? The remains of Eric Birigiti, 21 from Perth, was discovered at Twilight Beach in Western Australia by emergency crews who were searching for a missing scuba diver attacked by a great white shark. The 21-year-old promising football player was found dead being devoured by three sharks by search teams hunting for another body. When are sharks gonna, gonna say, you know what? We're done, we're not gonna do this anymore. <laughs> That's what, that, 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 no, but seriously, like sharks are on this world, they're on, we're on, obviously we're talking about World War Three. Mm. they're World War 2004 now. Cause all they do, anytime they see humans up there, they go up there and they go for it straight away. Why? But I, I heard that sharks ain't actually that dangerous and that the film Shark, um, not Jaws, the film Jaws mm. gave them this killer reputation. But like, if you actually check, statistics, they're very, very rare shark attack. Like this well, is a rare Well, occurrence. apparently sharks think humans are swans. What? Yeah, this is, this is what they say. So when they look up and they see a little body just doing this, oh, that's yeah. a swan, go there, boom, when they bite and the blood comes out, it's like, oh, this, that was a human, but it's too late, it's just munch now. <laughs> How did they confuse the Yeah, that's the, I was watching Animal Planet, that's what they told me. Edibles. I know you're going to do this, sucker. No, 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 when I was watching, not, not the dub, but before the edibles. Did David Attenborough tell you that? Yeah. That's the guy with the white hair. It yeah. was him. Yeah. The, the kid the kid who was killed by the shark had won a scholarship to play football for Hastings Broncos at Hastings College in oh, Nebraska. Oh, well, still? You can't play there anymore. Oh, I thought, I thought you meant now. Like, as in, no. Because that's cheeky. Hastings Broncos. I've heard of mm. them. They've got, they got a very good academy, don't they? Well, I mean, he, he was a national champion. He's a national champion. He's USA. He, I don't know if he is American or if he's Australian. Why was this football player in Australia in the sea where sharks are out. Well, December and January in Australia is like the hottest time. Yeah. That's why it's on fire. That's why I'm a celebrity around that time yeah. of year as well. Yeah. You're so not Ian Rack could have got hit by a shark then, you saying? Yeah. You be, no, he wasn't in the ocean, but you do a lot of uh, surfing and yeah. swimming in the ocean. And, Cause you know, Australia is on fire. Right now I, I saw, yeah. and I was, I saw, I saw a kangaroo hugging a human being because the human being saved the kangaroo's life. Again, that's social media. That can, we don't I know what that, that so kangaroo's doing. It wasn't a kangaroo. It was a koala. It was a koala. No, no, there was a kangaroo one. There People were holding kangaroo. kangaroos. Yeah, but yeah. like- the, Aren't they it, aggressive? The caption's like, it's hugging its saver because it's nearly died from the fire. Going, what animal have you ever seen hug anything and give you a reason for doing it? It's all over Twitter. Mad, just it? the Twitter, Twitter's just like, here's like why. Yeah. It's so crazy. I remember one time I saved a fly from like, basically the fly was in my room and it, it, it needed to get out and I helped it out. And the fly flew out. I thought, you know what? I need to go back and hug the guy because <laughs> he's let me out. The fly came on my forehead, <laughs> put his back off, boom, flew back out. And I was like, fly, let's do that one more time so I it on Twitter, but the fly was gone. <laughs> I'm a donut. He said the fly put his back off on his head and flew off, I am dead. Do you know, did you, do you remember how dinosaurs got extinct? You know there was a big. Remember. There was a big. There was a big. I was alive. There was a big. Uh, was it asteroid? It was a big collision. Sure. Yeah. I didn't see no donations there. <laughs> was currency even invented then? <laughs> the dinosaurs got wiped out. <laughs> now it's bones. Scientists are still trying to find out what and how big these machines were. were. And you want me to donate for the bushfire in Australia? People, yeah, I'm, 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 there's, well, there's things that happened back in the day that I'm, I'm, I still need answers for before we get to Australia. What happened to the dinosaurs? Telling me two stars collided and everything just went away. What? Get out of here, man. I mean, we weren't around them, bro. The other day there was a total eclipse in, uh, I think it was in Algeria or something. Did you see it? Duh. On the beach. Was it Algeria? I think it was Dubai. Yeah, Dubai, there was a total eclipse. Yeah. It, it, it went broad daylight dark, broad daylight dark, 
Bam, no, nothing happened. We're all still here. But when the dinosaurs are around, they all got wiped out. Even the giants, humans, nine foot tall, men, they all got wiped out. What? Just imagine we're living in the world right now with dinosaurs and nine foot men. Yeah. Sort of shaking will be the one. <laughs> why? 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 I'm sort of shaking them. And the dinosaurs the same size as my block. Just going past my window every time. <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on. Oh, you mean? <laughs> There's a possibility that dinosaurs don't even really exist. <laughs> well, that's so some, some, some of these, some of these scientists, sometimes <laughs> you get one little kid from Ireland with four views telling you that dinosaurs don't exist. So where did sometimes the bones come truth. from? See, that's, 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 that's the thing. We've got bones in museums, bro. Yeah, they, I think they make that, man. Oh, we're not. We're supposed to be talking about an Australian kid getting killed by dinosaurs. Uh, how have we got here? Sharks, <laughs> by the way. Yeah. Dinos- Are they prehistoric? Dinosaurs, yeah. yeah, they're prehistoric as well. Sharks, whales. Sharks, dinosaurs. Yeah. You sure? I'm going to check it tonight. Okay, yeah, look it up. Well, that that is this week's No Rules show. Yo. Amazing guests. Aye. Took us in places we had no idea we were going. Listen, it's been a pleasure, man. No Rules is lit. Aye, but who actually got you those? Honestly? Yeah. Critical. I knew you were going to say that. That's what I, I going to no say No Rules that. show, no people. Rules. Thank you, Craig Mitch. Come on, come on. And people, just let you know, if you're going to pay heads or tails with Critical, guess which one he's going to pick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs>